My name is David Ham. I'm the director of the Border Patrol Museum. The idea for the Border Patrol Museum started in 1978 when a group of retired Border Patrol officials formed the Fraternal Order of Retired Border Patrol Officers. In 1979, a group of them thought it would be a good idea to create the Border Patrol Museum. When the museum was created, the people that came up with the idea knew that the federal government wouldn't fund it. So they went uh, to the state of Texas, became incorporated, and received their 501c3 designation. Finally, in 1985, the museum opened its doors in the basement of the Cortez building in downtown El Paso. We were there for about five years and then closed because of a dispute with the landlord. A new building was, uh, area was found and this building was built and we opened our doors in 1994. So we've been here since 1994. Well, I think one of the most unique things, it's the only one in the United States. We have aircraft that were flown by Border Patrol pilots. We have a Super Cub, we have an OH-6 helicopter, we have a pursuit vehicle, Pontiac Firebird that was part of a pursuit program. Uh, you'll see a lot of statues and paintings that were done by Border Patrol agents. And you'll see a good, concise history of from when we started to where we are today. The museum is located on 4315 Trans Mountain Road in Northeast El Paso. It's easy to get to. You can take the loop around and we're located next to the El Paso Archaeological Museum. This museum operates on donations and corporate sponsorships. So if you would like to contribute to the museum, contact us and, and we'll tell you how you can do that. You can go on our website, nationalborderpatrolmuseum.com, if you have any questions. Uh, you can call us at 915-759-6060 and admission is free. I think the Border Patrol Museum is important because it gives the people an idea of what the Border Patrol does and has done in the past. We were started in 1924. That was during Prohibition era and honestly the biggest focus at that time was enforcing the Prohibition laws. It was also the bloodiest time in our history. We lost over 31 officers. During World War II, uh, we patrolled the coasts. We served as guards at POW camps. Later on, during the 60s, we were involved in the integration of University of Mississippi. And then we were designated as air marshals in the United States, designated by then Attorney General Bobby Kennedy. I hope visitors learn that we have quite a unique history. This is our 95th year in existence, and during those 95 years, we've done a lot of things that people aren't aware of, that they can find out about here at this museum. And that's one of the goals here at the museum, is to educate them about what we've done in the past. <laughs>